Okay, hi everyone. Um, I was asked by someone in the group to recreate the footprints. Um, use, you know, like, because I stated in my last video that they were not footprints, that it was just a simple art project. So um, I went ahead and I did that. As you can see, this is just rough, you know, right here. And then you can see some different ones. And then I was playing around to see um, how to get the the void spot in where some of the toys toes I'm sorry not toys toes were why it looked like there was a void um, and that is easily recreated with a gloved hand um, so at first I thought maybe and it it does still look like they drew a circle and then um, put their finger down like this one right here this is exactly what it looks like on the prints um, here's the big toe the arch of the foot the pinky this one and then that and then they just drag it down now this is just a really fast one um, uh, I have neuropathy so it's really hard for me today the pain is pretty intense to actually put a glove on and then then touch things it's it's pretty painful so um, it, it's just a quick rudimentary one but it's just to show you that this is how the process was completed and when you look at the slides that follow in this video you will see also where I had, um, if you remember in the previous video, where when I had edited and, and brought up what was underneath the actual prints, there was a dark area. And when I, had, on this one, I included the slides where, or the pictures where they had um, sprayed the, it's the luminol type, luminol-esque uh, forensic stuff that they use to bring up blood. And you will see and that 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 shady area that I had brought up in the editing is actually blood now when you look at the photos themselves that area is done it's gone you don't see it you don't see it until they spray it on there and that means that they dropped blood or they made a spot or whatever and they cleaned it up first before they actually put the the footprint on there now does that mean that they spilled blood and then cleaned it up and figured out that they probably had to cover this blood somehow because if they just you know they could be thinking ahead going okay if they lumen all this they're going to find blood and then obviously david didn't do this and then let's mask that blood that we wiped up with footprints that's probably what they did anyway um that was just to show you it can be done and I measured that and and on this paper is um, you'll see in the slides below or further uh, I keep saying below but the slides over where I actually measured it I measured I used the the little ruler that they had on the um, the picture and measured how long that foot was and it was 10 centimeters and when I got done with doing this and you'll see a ruler on there it is 10 centimeters as well it, it's perfect so uh, well okay not perfect but it's a match so anyway um, that's this part for now so watch these um, look at these pictures stop it and pause the video and really pay attention and go back and forth and compare what you're seeing with what was actually found Okay, so now you guys know from looking at this that this is a simple art project that you can do at home, and that's what was done at the crime scene. And here's here are the supplies I used. Gloves, dollar store gloves. Um, I watered down red paint with some water to create the consistency of blood, and this is the color I used. Mix that together, took all of probably it, it did it took me more time to mix the paint than it did just to do this and you can create your own murder scene footprints